Hey there, it's Gabe with Vitev, and I have our new shower filter out here with me today. Um, for the last, you know, four years, we've only dealt with water that goes inside of our body. We haven't done anything on the outside of our body, our external issues, our skin. Uh, we've done no, no protection in that regard. And um, it's something that's been on our drawing, you know, our chalkboard for a long time now, but it's finally here. And so um, what I want to do today is just walk you through this, tell you what's, uh, what's in it, how it works. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with shower filters and the need for those, I'll give you some background on that as well. I think that's actually where I'll start because um, th this isn't an innovative product, right? It's not something that we're going to patent and save the world with. There's a lot of these out there, but they're not very well known. Uh, more of us spend time uh, in the lotion aisle, in the fancy shampoo and conditioner aisle, than we do in the home improvement aisle where these things are typically located, right? Um, and what we find is, is that if you think of alkaline water, why do most of us find that? Well, it's because we're tired of dealing with symptoms. We want to go back to the root cause and fix that issue. And if we can fix that, then everything else downstream improves as well. And it's the same idea with, with shower filters or with our external uh, environment. Um, most of us, what do we deal with? Dry skin, uh, flaky scalps, uh, cracked skin, um, hair that just doesn't do whatever hair is supposed to do. I'm not one to talk to you about that. But all of those things are symptoms of a root cause. And that root cause is usually what's in our tap water, what's in our water that we're showering in and bathing in, or washing our hands in, or doing our dishes in. All those that types of things dry our skin out, right? Well, why? It's because there's chlorine in the water. If we get rid of the chlorine in our water, we can improve ourselves and take care of all those other symptoms. Now, obviously, there's, there's internal reasons as well. The better our diet is, the better our hair is going to be and our skin is. That, that kind of goes without saying. But that's not the whole story. That's kind of half, half of it. You also need to take care of what's in the external environment that's impacting your skin. And you do that by getting rid of chlorine. So um, how do we do that? Because as we looked across the spectrum of shower filters, there's lots of different kinds out there. There are some that are very expensive, and they have like 18 different ingredients in there. The problem is there's not enough of each individual ingredient to add the benefit that ingredient says it adds. So it's kind of a lot of, of bling, but not a lot of bang for your buck. I guess is a way to think of that. The other side, the flip side of it, is there's some very inexpensive ones, or even some, some middle-of-the-road expensive ones, that are just carbon. And the challenge with carbon, while we all associate that with removing chlorine in our drinking water, it doesn't perform well at high temperatures. And most of us don't shower in, in cold water. I think the last time I did was field training in the military years and years ago. But after you leave that environment, you want to take warm showers and hot showers, and you need something that works good in that environment. And carbon is not it. So as we looked around, uh, what we found worked best was, was two things. Um, the first is KDF. Um, kind of the last end, the, the final stage the water runs through here is a KDF. And it's made almost like a, uh, it's kind of like a Brillo pad even, is what it looks like. We can put some pictures on the website to let you show. In fact, we'll probably do that with all of the medias that are in here. Um, but that, that's good for chlorine removal. It also does pretty good with, um, with heavy metals. A lot of us have older pipes or lead in our pipes, and it can help with that, that issue as well. Um, but the main ingredient that we use is calcium sulfide. Uh, it's like a ceramic little white BB, very good at absorbing a lot of, of the chlorine, and it does very well at high temperatures. And so that's the majority of what we use uh, in our shower filters. Uh, a little bit goes a long ways. And then the last thing is we have some infrared ceramics in here, um, some larger balls. It just helps the water feel a little softer, feel a little bit better. Um, just kind of improves the, the overall feel of the water when we're showering. Uh, and that's it. Just those three things um, gives us a great shower. All right, so how does this work? Um, very simple. It comes with these red caps, uh, and you'll see the, the threading on the end as well, right? Um, all you're going to do is remove your shower filter, or your shower head, excuse me, um, so you can keep whatever, you know, 19 function, multi-massaging head that you have. Um, just take that piece off, and where the threads now are exposed on the pipe on your shower, you just twist this on. Right? This is going to be the end that looks at you. You put the neck of it on, up on the, the pipe, and then you just reconnect your shower head here. If you have more of the European style, what has a wand or, or something like that, um, these usually connect down by the, the shower or the tub um, connector, the tub spout down there. Um, this thing will just go on there as well. Same threading, it'll work. And you'll be good to go. Um, just when the first time you use it, let the water run for a minute or two. You'll see it'll be kind of grayish coming out, um, but that'll go away. That's just some of the dust that's on the, the calcium sulfite. And that's actually one of the other reasons why we liked it, because if you use carbon, you get this big blast of, of black water that stains your shower, and you end up having to clean your shower before you can shower. 
So um, uh, calcium sulfite will not do that. And that's it. Um, from a lifespan standpoint, how long will this last for you need a new one? Uh, six months is what we say, and that, that's thinking more from a, a two people using a shower uh, and taking normal showers, normal being five or ten minutes. Uh, if you're in the situation where you have more people using your shower or you have longer showers being taken, uh, obviously that's going to impact the, the lifespan on this as well. Um, but, but that should be the, the gauge. Um, it's kind of funny. I've, the stage of life I'm in now, the kids are younger. They don't want to shower at all. You go through that stage. But then you move into the teenage years, and if the shower is not 25 minutes, it's not a shower. Um, that's where we're at right now. So um, our filters don't last as long in the home uh, as six months. The best way to know when you need a new one, well, all those things that it got rid of to begin with, the dry skin, the cracked skin, the, the hair problems, um, those will begin to return. You'll feel itchy again. You may see some flakes, that stuff. And you notice it really, really quickly uh, when it comes back after you haven't had it for a while. So that's your sign to get a new one. Uh, and then just remove this one, pop a new one in its place, and you're good to go again. So um, we hope this helps. I mean, the idea behind it is make something simple, make something that works, make something that's affordable. Um, and if we can do that, we know we're going to help a lot of people. And so we hope this does for you as well. If you have any questions about it or you're curious or want some more information or um, whatever, as always, just give us a call. Uh, drop us a line on email, uh, or you can use a live chat function on the website. That tends to work pretty well for people because you can be at work and send us a note or whatever, and, and, uh, and uh, it's a pretty convenient way to grab us as well. Okay, so let us know. Like I said, if you have any questions, we hope this helps, and we'll be talking to you soon.